Welcome to Business Connection's New Road Data Center. We are the first African-based global ICT supplier with not one, but three Tier 4 data centers with design certification from the Uptime Institute. At Business Connection, we operate 12 data centers across South Africa and manage 52 data centers across the African continent. Today, we will visit one of our flagship data centers and explain some of the technologies and design thinking that makes it world class. Here we are in New Road Data Center 1, or NDC 1. This facility was designed and built as a complete mirror of New Road Data Center 2, which is a so called dark site with only security personnel on site. As a visitor to NDC 1, this is as far as you're likely to go. The site is one of the most secure data centers in the country and complies with the strictest security and disaster recovery protocols. It is interesting to note that the reception is on the second floor but is built below the data center thanks to the site's natural south to north slope. This was done to mitigate any risk of flood damage, the only probable environmental risk. Any rainwater is collected at the northern end of the property and drained at the perimeter of the office park and even the kitchen and bathrooms have been built outside the core of the facility to ensure that no water ingress is possible. The operations bridge is the center of all server management and security. From here, our team of specialists control and support all mainframe and open server services and all access into the computer rooms. As part of the complex security protocols, no engineer has direct access to the computer room. Through a process of incident logging, card exchange and video monitoring, the team in the operations bridge ensures that the computer rooms are as secure as possible. Inside the control room, every inch of NDC1 is monitored and controlled. From here, our team has access to the battery of security cameras monitoring the facility, including the 55 motion-activated cameras that monitor the computer room. The security is monitored by two different security firms, one of which patrols the perimeter and one which looks after the interior of the building. One could call this a failover plan for the physical security detail. The control room acts as a neural center for NDC1, but can also control NDC2, the dark side. Meanwhile, NDC2 is fully equipped to also monitor and control NDC1, if it is ever required to do so. NDC1 was designed and built as an identical copy of NDC2, which means that over time, this site can also be converted into a dark site once the raised floors are installed and the windows are completely closed up. As part of its Tier 4 certification, the Global Uptime Institute requires any data center to have access to water from two different suppliers. As this is not possible in South Africa, we have designed a unique closed-loop chilled water system which was approved by the Uptime Institute. The water supply is piped through a central corridor which makes water ingress into the computer rooms impossible. Water stored in the reservoir and supplied from the municipal water supply supplements the gas fire suppression system, but all pipes into the various sections of the building remain completely dry until needed to prevent any possible water damage to critical equipment. Despite the complex system of water pipes and reservoirs, water is only a secondary guard against any fires. As the first line of defense, we have installed a complete gas-based fire suppression system. Both the water and gas fire suppression systems are divided into zones, which means that the system will only be activated in the zones where a fire has been detected, thereby protecting any sensitive equipment in other areas. The fire suppression system uses organite gas, a gas which takes enough oxygen out of the air to kill a fire, but still allows humans to breathe. Every month, we pressure test the organite tanks to ensure that they are ready for any eventuality. All crisis systems are also connected to the Gauteng Emergency Services, which means that the data center will automatically notify the fire department if any emergency is detected. Welcome to one of the power management systems in the data center. All the equipment in both NDC1 and NDC2 receive their power at all times from an uninterruptible power supply system or UPS system. The UPS system can in turn be supplied by any electrical source, including power from the local electricity utility, power from the UPS's own backup batteries, or from the electricity generators installed in each data center. Using the UPS system as a primary power source, we ensure clean power to all electronic equipment, and we ensure that even the most extreme power failure will not affect the computer room. 
If the power from the local power utility is lost, the UPS system will continue to deliver uninterrupted power to all equipment while the generators start working and reach level engine speeds. Once the first generator has reached its optimal operating speed and delivers a stable power current, the second generator starts and completes a similar process. With both generators working optimally, the UPS system can start receiving power from this power source. Interestingly, the entire process, from detecting the power failure to receiving power from the generators, takes no more than 8 seconds. The first thing that you will notice, apart from the impressive range of generators, is the uneven floor surface and the differing heights of the steps into the room. This is all done to contain any liquid spill and prevent it from flooding other rooms. Inside this generator room is two 880 kVA generators. This proves that we take energy supply very seriously because the entire NDC-1 only needs 500 kVA. Yet we have a theoretical capacity of 3,520 kVA in NDC-1 and double that in NDC-2, which has eight generators. The generators all start at the same time and they are able to start up so quickly because we constantly circulate warm water through them. This ensures that these engines are always near optimal operating temperatures when they are called on to work. Each plant room has a 23,000 litre underground diesel tank that is filled according to the expected power outages. Diesel is filtered before being stored and at all times there is enough diesel to power the generators for five continuous days. The generators are tested every week and once a month the NDC runs on the generators to ensure that they remain capable of powering the system. Every six months the plant room is shut down to test the entire system and ensure that it can run on a single power feed. Just like in the plant room, the uninterrupted power supply system delivers more power than is required. In this case, a supply of 550 kVA is necessary, but the UPS system can deliver 1,100 kVA from its dual UPS systems. This room boasts its own air conditioning and fire protection system, since the entire operation is dependent on the UPS system. To ensure that there are no interruptions, the UPS system's batteries are replaced every seven years instead of the standard replacement cycle of 10 years. Trained specialists also check every battery bank with an infrared scanner every month to detect any possible dead batteries that need replacement. There are three independent battery banks, so batteries can be tested and replaced without disturbing the constant delivery of power. The UPS system can support the entire new road data center for one hour without any electricity supply which is significantly longer than the required 40 minutes. Another highly specialized system is the air conditioning system, which ensures that the temperature inside the computer room never exceeds 26 degrees. Each row of air conditioners feeds the computers behind them, while every unit is also equipped with a boiler system to increase the humidity level if required. The data centers are designed to deliver optimal connectivity, which means that each rack is cooled and powered by its own dedicated system. Each rack has two power connections and is ultimately connected to the BCX optical fiber and teleport systems for the highest and most stable level of connectivity. Both data centers, NDC1 and NDC2, are truly vendor neutral, which means that different computer systems and mainframes from virtually every large computer manufacturer can be found inside the computer rooms. The two data centers are connected by dedicated patch systems which allow devices in both centers to be connected to each other as if they were in the same rack. The computer systems are not housed in cages or locked in racks because access is strictly controlled at all times. For a client to access his computers inside the computer room, he has to log a request. It is tracked and assigned to a specific computer and is accompanied by security personnel at all times while he works on his computer system. Welcome to the backup system. The world-class backup system uses a Jaguar robot to access, backup and control both the open computer systems and the mainframe. There are two different backup systems for open systems and one solution for the mainframe system. And in most cases, the client backs up his or her system to disk solutions with a secondary backup to tape. It is NDC protocol that all backup solutions must be moved off-site within 24 hours. This means that the rows of tape you see inside this room are ready for reuse since they have been moved off-site and returned after they were downloaded. With the high security levels, there is no need for costly and cumbersome lockable cages. 
No access to the server rooms are possible without clearance and security monitoring, but clients who still require lockable cages can speak to the team about our range of solutions, including biometrically secured cages. The data center area is kept dust-free thanks to a positive airflow system. This system maintains a higher pressure inside the room and blows out air when the door is open. This keeps the computer room free of dust. The data center area is protected by two Category 4 bank vault doors, which provide the highest level of ingress protection. The two doors cannot be opened at the same time, both for security reasons and to prevent dust from being sucked in between the doors and into the computer room. The data center area is kept free from any boxes or crates, and equipment is moved into the computer room on its own wheels or with a trolley. That concludes our visit to one of the most advanced, stable and secure data centers on the African continent.